So, five months into the new job, Terry is now having employment issues. That's going to culminate with her being fired. It seems they failed to give her paycheck or send her paycheck to the right place. So, she went in and complained to her supervisor about it, which didn't get rapid enough action. So, she complained to her supervisor, supervisor about it going over her supervisor's head. Now the supervisor's out to get her and is critiquing her performance on the job. So guess what? Soon, somebody's going to be unemployed, Scott. Hearing this, Scott? You Stop! wait. That's what you've been waiting for. You can hear it from the horse's mouth. Go ahead, tell no. the story. <laughs> Actually, I just told the story, but if you want to edit it, they know. They can tell by your attitude already. Is this the attitude you give your supervisor at work? Stop it! I'm just saying. <laughs> Stop! Your supervisor, Deirdre... Stop it. At the Haldane Central School District. It's not Haldane. What do they call it then? I don't remember. I thought it was Haldane. Nope. You sure? Yeah, quite positive. I'll ask Mike, because I told him. That time you told me, I told him, I think. Oh well, it doesn't matter. In any case, after five long months, which is the longest stretch I can remember you holding a job except for Hannaford, we're going to hear the next How Terry Shut Got Fired up. story. She violated the rules of workplace politics. Oh my God. She's the lowest member on the totem pole. And instead of waiting for her employer, her, no, excuse me, not her employer, her supervisor, to correct an incompetence on her part, on the supervisor's part, she went over the supervisor's head to the supervisor's supervisor, making the supervisor look bad. Which means Terry is going to be living in hell. You're in a world of shit. Might literally be the case. I bet those kids shit the bathrooms up all the time. You're going to be in there cleaning them. <laughs> no, we have custodians for that. Oh, yeah, they're union. You're not getting in that. <laughs> uh, well, you'll be cleaning the pots, though. Stop! Hey, look. They've had Jorge in those pots for how long now? Five months since you've been there? So guess what? Your supervisor is going to use her supervisory capabilities mm -hmm. to delegate job responsibilities to the various members of her staff, one of which happens to be you Stop. for now. And that means you are going to be scrubbing pots in there with the mice, the silverfish, the roaches, and the ants. Rats. Don't forget the rats. Oh, yes, and the rats. Well, I said stop. rodents, didn't I? It's kind of like the same. Why are you telling me to stop? I'm not the one that did what you did. Like, it's my fault. It is your fault. It's not my fault. She should have paid me. Yes, she should have. She was incompetent yes, she in was. sending the check to the wrong place. You, on the other hand, being the lowest mouse on a totem pole there, should have kept your mouth shut, put up with it, got your check eventually, and had no problems. And stayed off the supervisor's radar. But no, you didn't. You had to go make the supervisor look bad to her boss. Very, very, very bad thing to do. That's how these little uh, hierarchies work over there. You know? You just violated the, the workplace etiquette rules there. You know, it's one thing if your supervisor had you in the corner, you know, trying to or any of that shit. That wasn't happening here. This is just a minor issue over one paycheck because she screwed something up and you had to go point it out to her boss. It's not a minor thing when you need your money. Yeah, your you would have got your, your money. Bills, but I need to pay my rent and bills. Well, how are you going to do that when you're unemployed? And working for one quarter pay on, on unemployment for however long they give it to you this time. You had a hard, you had like two years to get this job. How long is it going to take to get another one? Six? Eight? Years. Ten? It had to be at least that long. I could always go back and review no, the videos. It was about a year, maybe. I think it was a little over a year because uh, the videos would show. I don't think so. Yeah. I mean, everybody who watches these videos has probably been expecting this video anyway. Because that's your pattern. It always comes up. It's always somebody else's fault. But how is this? Oh, my God. It's always somebody it's else's fault. fault. This time it is your fault. No, it's not. Yes, it is. You ratted your supervisor out to her boss. She should have paid me. Over a minor issue of one misplaced paycheck that you issue. knew you were going to get. It's not a minor issue. When somebody does not pay me, that's not a minor issue. Terry, they were paying you. They told you it was in the process oh, of being taken care of. No, they didn't. They kept giving me a runaround. But eventually, you would have got that check. Me, if they had just said, you know, we have to figure it out, we'll, you know, we'll get it to you, don't worry about it, that would have been fine. But don't you understand that, that, that admits either. incompetence on the part of the boss? That's never going to happen. Employer's not going to tell you they're incompetent. Or your supervisor, as the case may be. Oh, well. 
At least Scott will stop pestering me, my stop God. Stop it. Every time I get in the car when he picks me up. Stop. Did she get fired yet? Stop what happened? It. Tell me about it. Did she get fired? No, not yet, Scott. Oh, how long am I going to wait? Huh? Oh. I said, Jesus. What the fuck what? is wrong with you people? Well, you know what? It's cheaper than cable TV. The Terry Show. <laughs> how Terry got fired. Now, I figured it would be for hoarding too many cookies and they catch you at it. Stop it. No. Maybe some interaction with some of the students. I don't know. Selling them what? on the side. Dope and no. what on. Booze. No. No. Okay. Or you just got into it with your supervisor, as usually is the case eventually. <laughs> Shut up. Was that not the case here? Was it, that not the case at Hannaford? It's not my fault, though. And let's, let's not forget <laughs> the 45-second job where you got literally fired before you even got hired. <laughs> Because you failed to dress for a, in a business appropriate manner. Stop. I'm just saying, you know, your history is just like papered with stuff like this. All we heard about when you work in a shop right now or Hannaford was clashes with your superiors. My superiors want me to come to work on time. My my supervisor <laughs> wants me to wear underwear to work. My supervisor, you know, it just never stops. Stop. It's over and over and over again with you. I wonder how they knew I wasn't wearing underwear. The x-ray machine, dumbass. Shut up. You know those scanners can x-ray, right? Shut up. Went, oh, my God. You're not wearing underwear. God. What the hell's the matter with that It wasn't underwear. It was a bra. Yeah, whatever. Apparently, you must have worn something sheer and see-through. No, I was not. I was and wearing my Hannaford red shirt. So you offended somebody with it. <laughs> somebody probably vomited and said, you got to take care of that. Shut up. Ugh. And your supervisor, always something with the supervisor, always. Time and time and time Why again. Why are you looking at my fucking boob sore anyway? Yeah, I know. Why, exactly? Why would... <laughs> Shut up. It's not like, you know, well, never mind. Uh, what was the other one? Oh, yeah, your supervisor fired you because you were sleeping on the job. I wasn't sleeping. Oh, yeah, that's right. You were just closing your eyes to that's rest right, for a while. I was. Yeah, okay, okay. Shut up! Stop hey, it! I was! I, I understand. The old man does it two, three hours every day at the shop. And, uh, what <laughs> You know what I'm saying? It's true. It was only a few seconds I had my eyes closed. Uh-huh. Oh, sure. No, 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 no. We all believe you. Fuck you. No, thank you. But we all, Shut up. We all believe you. Do you sexually harass people at work, too? No. Oh, no Why yeah, do I huh? sexually harass people at work? We always go around offering. I do not. Fuck you. That's her Fuck offer. You. And uh, what was the other job there? The bakery. What was the issue there? No, the sandwich shop. The sandwich shop. Subway. Again with the supervisor. Subway. That was her fault, but we were friends. It's and then she always... started. Oh my god, but she was. Yeah, until you started coming in late, screwing no, up on the job. I did not come in late and screw up on the job. Encouraging people like Scott to come in and pay for their sandwiches. I did not do that. He with came 500 on his pennies. Own and did that. Yeah, one cry, moan, groan. Yeah, it's always somebody else's. No, the one at the bakery I lost because I didn't go in on, uh, I think, Labor Day weekend or mm -hmm. one of those weekends where it was busy, but I said that I had a flat tire because I was at the beach. <laughs> yeah, you think that fooled them that for two seconds? That was second? my own fault. I know that. Yeah. That one, I own up to. So was that. this one. No, it was oh, not. Oh, yeah. For wanting to get paid? I don't think so. You're what, 55 years old? Fuck no, you! No, thank you 48 again. 48 tomorrow, no. oh. fucker! No, thank you. Shut up. Uh, ancient. Old enough to know the rules of the workplace. You're well, new on the job. Paid. You know, if you've oh, been that's there. That's what I'm there for, for the money. Okay? After you've been there like 30 years. I'm not there for the years. fucking kids. I'm not there for the fucking supervisors. I'm there to get fucking paid. Uh, well, you know, once you've been there for like 30 years and shit, then you have a little bit more clout to go in there and rattle the supervisor's cage. Long term employee, where's my fucking check? You've been there five months. You're the lowest, newest hire. You're going in there, causing a problem, rocking the boat, highlighting, the problem by highlighting, not me. highlighting a supervisor's incompetence, which is something they don't need and you don't want to do. Because now they have power over you on that job. They could make your life their living hell. They're going to. Both of them. Your immediate supervisor and her boss. And worse, you're now labeled as a potential rat. Trust me, these people have something to hide. They always do. You think they're incompetent just in one thing? No, they're incompetent a dozen things. You might find out another one, for God's sake. And then what are you going to do with that information? 
They got to worry about that now. Find out what? Something else they've done incompetently, you know, and gotten you away mean with. Other than putting the, the mouse traps yeah. on top of food? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Trust me, these people are nothing but incompetent. They have a long stream of competent shit they've done, and they cover for each other all the time. Yes, now, you've just proven that you may not cover for them. You're a rat in the wood pile. They have to no. get rid of you. That means you're going to get the shittiest jobs, the worst evals, everything. Everything. Until I, they get rid of you. Care. You and already said that... The, uh, even after they get rid of me, I will still do what I said I was going to do. I'll go to the Department of Labor, and I'll get my money, and I'll tell them that I've been wrongfully terminated. And if I don't get any satisfaction there, I will go to the newspapers and I'll report them for having mouse traps on top of food. And I don't give a fuck. Except there's one problem. What? You're a disgruntled ex-employee. But I have pictures of it. You took pictures of that? Did you sign any papers when you went yes, on the job? Yes, I did. Okay. Fuck you. You did? Yes. You understand what it leaves you open for, right? <sighs> a major lawsuit, which you cannot pay, possibly even prison time. No. You violated non-disclosure agreement, yeah. You better read that uh, small print really, really closely and consult an attorney. Guarantee you they can fuck you hard. You know, that's a school district. Yes, they can. You're not dealing with some mom and pop bakery here or some two-bit little thing like that. These people have more fucking lawyers than you got brain cells. At least 12 or 15 of them. So then it's better if I just show it to a kid and then they present it to their parent and then do it from there. If you are very careful how you do it, because hmm. you don't want that kid saying, lunch lady showed me which one, that fat one over there. You don't want them saying that. The one that's scrubbing pots. Who was just scrubbing the bathroom floor with a toothbrush. Yeah. Yeah. I have to pick a good one that I know won't say anything. Oh, uh, you know what? They're all going to rat you out. No. In a heartbeat. What do they care about you? They won't. Uh, what makes you think so? Because I know they won't. There yeah, what's, what's your done. reassurance on that? Because your freedom and your financial uh, ability to remain financially free of lawsuits for the next 20 years, it depends on it. They, they could always just be their word against mine anyway, though. Not Maybe th they didn't like me. Really, if they, if they have a picture of some area where they're not supposed to be, of a mousetrap on top I of food. I came up that they went in there on their own. And they come up with a plausible story about a cafeteria lady who's already known as a disgruntled ex-employee. Let them in there? Uh-uh. You could be in for a can of worms there. Don't ever involve students in any of your stupid shit, because you do that, you're really stepping in it. Don't want to do that. No, you're screwed. You better be a quiet as a little church mouse, do whatever shitty job she makes you do, say lots of yes ma'ams, yes ma'ams, yes ma'ams, give her all the expensive scotch she can fucking drink at Christmas time, and hope that you can skate on this. Quietly keep collecting your check at the end of the month or week or whatever it is and go home. And don't open your mouth again. So what if I just called the health department on them? You're violating a non-disclosure agreement. How? What if I don't show them the pictures? I just call them and have them You're come still in. violating. How? By calling the health when you call the health department, they but they don't know that it's me calling. For they them to take it's me no, calling. for them to take any kind of thing like that seriously at all. They need to know your name, your position, how you know the information. They want to know how do you come about to... Anybody can call the health department. Uh, yeah, McDonald's is full of rats. Go close them down. They're not going to take that seriously. They can't because when they go in there and there's no rats, they get sued. They lose their jobs. So for them to take any kind of action, they got to know who they're dealing with, how they come about the information, all of that before they even make any move. They won't even fill out a report until they get that information. Because then it's on you. If they go in there, they don't find anything, they come back on you. You know, false reporting. That's a crime, too. But it's not false reporting, though. But then, of course, they also get you on a, you're violating your non-disclosure agreement. But that's not right. So how are people supposed to say anything? They have that system sorted pretty well, so you can't. It's not a democracy. Not in, not in there. That's a workplace. It has a very well-defined system of, you know, supervisors and employees and levels of supervision above them. Your supervisor has a boss. Your boss's boss has a boss. Your school district uh, supervisor's boss, everybody. And all and so on, right up to the state level. So, you know, you got to figure all of that. And you went and violated their rules. There's got to be a way around it. It really isn't.
There isn't. <laughs> You're screwed. You went and rocked the boat when you didn't have to, and now you're going to have to live with the consequences. But I did have to. Not really. You you made your complaint. If the check doesn't show up, you make another one. Politely explaining to the supervisor you're in serious financial hardship because the check is missing. Make it so that they're doing you a favor by doing their job. But it's called I did kissing. Tell them that. It's called kissing ass. But I told them that my rent and everything was due. They still didn't give a fuck. No, of course not. But they would have taken care of it eventually. Oh my God. And you still don't have the check, right? No, not yet. And now you're in the shitter anyway. You see, instead of just taking the crap, which sometimes is what you have to do on a, on a job situation, you got to take the crap. Everybody does. Not just you. Even the president's got to take crap from somebody, even if it's his own wife. What a Congress. But you had to go make a thing about it now. Sending emails and such and letters to, you know, this, her boss and all the rest. No, bad move. And you mentioned the fucking rats when you talked to the supervisor, supervisor, didn't you? You told me that. Yes, I did. So now they know if anything about that situation turns up in the press or anywhere else, we need to go look at first. Immediately. And worse, they have the evidence. You put it in an email. It's one thing to say it verbally. That's hard to refute it verbally. Uh, she told me in the quarter that she... Okay, do you have a recording of this? Well, no. Yeah, it's not admissible. An email? Yeah, that is. That's evidence they already have against you. So you better hope nobody else rats them out about this situation. Because they're going to blame you. Big, big, big mistake. Oh, man, are you screwed. I told you, now you're going to have to eat shit. That's, that's what you're going to do. You're going to have to eat shit. Go there... Be contrite, apologetic. I'm sorry I made you think about this. You know, I, I, have, I have some mental issues. I get like this sometimes. I'm on my medication now. Shut up. I'm taking my pills. Everything's okay. You know, I'll be okay from here on. I'm really sorry I, that you went. I put you through this. I'm really, really sorry. Uh, yeah. if anything I can do to make it up. No, it's called eating shit. You're going to have to do it. To save your ass, that's what you're going to have to do. And your job. Eventually, you'll get your check. Long delayed now. Because, you know, they're going to make you pay for that, too. And you're going to have the shit end of the stick down there for a long time. You're going to be the one who gets all the jobs nobody else wants. If there's a mess on the kitchen floor, that's you. If there's something in the back of the refrigerator no one wants to touch, that's you. You know, if there's uh, the, 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 the spitting and vomiting child day and someone needs to be on the line, that's you. You know, kid puked all over the table in aisle two, that's you. Custodian's job. Whatever, but there's shit jobs down there. You're going to be doing all of them. Somebody needs to work Christmas Day? Guess who? That's you. We're not there for Christmas Day. I'm saying, you know, you know what I mean. That's going to be you. You do not learn. Be I just wanted my check. Yeah. That's what I wanted. Maybe, yeah, so. But this time, you were simply the victim of the supervisor's incompetence. You didn't handle it well. That's all. Yeah, you should have got your check on time and at the right place. She was incompetent. You pointed it out. Bad move. Bad fucking move. You pointed it out to her, which is bad enough. You pointed it out to her boss, which is unforgivable. That's how these fucking systems work. And now you're going to get screwed. You know, there's no way out of that. You already did it. Now you're going to get the shit. They're going to find a way to get rid of you to start with, and you'll give it to them. You'll open your mouth, you'll mouth off, you'll do something. I know you. You're going to do something. You will. You won't be able to resist it. And then you're going to be home on a fraction of your pay on unemployment again with Billy breathing down your ass again and no prospects of work again. And Scott asking me every single weekend for the next three years. So did Terry get a job yet? Did she get a job yet? Let's hear it. What'd she get? <coughs> she can come steal tools with me. Stop it. Using that special tag he gave you. What special tag? The one I gave you last week. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Shop left. Yeah, there you go. That is your specialty. Shut up. Yeah. Don't carry that at work, by the way. Why? Well, when they're going through your personal possessions at, when after you've been arrested. Shut but, up. You don't want them to find that. Stop it. The second thought, Scott will say, go ahead and carry it at work. Don't worry about it. Oh. Yeah, they'll bring you down to the tombs over there. Because you're in Westchester County, so. Yeah, I'm not going there. This place is full of fucking nut jobs, animals, monsters of all kinds. I'm not, no way I'm going there. But, uh, you'll be on your own down there. Well, don't worry, Scott will go to your trial. Stop! 
He'll report back to the rest of us. Stop it. Bob wear a lapel camera. Stop it. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Teresa Murphy versus the people of the state of New York on a charge Murphy? of bringing... Really? Uh, uh, Hughes, I forgot. <laughs> On a charge of brigandage. What? Brigandage. Look it up. No, tell me. No, now I want now I'm no, your new job. Look me. it up. Go to the internet and look it up. I don't even remember what it's called. Brigandage. I think I'm gonna remember that. Brigandage. Yeah, you'll remember that. I don't think so. You're right, you won't. Your your so brain is too me. fried in alcohol. Just tell me what it means. Looting, raiding, burning of villages. Mm -hmm. Apparently you never saw a uh, red heat, did you? No. Missed a good movie there. Yeah. He'll be going to prison. Stop! Oh, come on. You know it's always been your goal anyway. Shut up. Just like the Seinfeld crew there. <laughs> State penitentiary. That was the last episode. Yeah. We're all in jail. Yeah, that was the whole, the whole thing. It's kind of funny. I never really watched that show. But I watched maybe maybe three or four episodes of the whole run of it. That was a good it. show. I liked that show. I never, I never was into it. But that was so me, that show. Anyway, there was this one episode I did watch. I forget what the whole storyline was, except uh, somebody says something. I'll have to do that be like uh, one day if we're ever in prison. I think it was Costanza. He goes, prison. One day. <laughs> so right then and there, I knew. That was going to be the last episode. Everybody else went, what's the last episode going to be? I said, they're going to prison. I know this. I know it because I've heard it before. They already put the setup in there. And I just happened to catch it. It's a weird thing. I happened to catch it. The only good guy on there was Kramer. No, they was. were all pretty good, though. No, the other it was so boring. funny, though. It was like, it was just so me. They were just a Things bunch of... they came up with. Like... You know what they were? Except for Kramer, a bunch of whiny city people. And I really can't stand that kind of shit. I'm not. I'm not city. You know? But Kramer was funny. He was physically funny. You know, that I can get into. He reminded me of the three fucking stooges. He was all but right. But they came up with this the stupidest shit like that only I would get into. Yes. Well, look what you're into now. <laughs> well. There you go. You're going to get fired for ratting out your supervisor. I'm a soup Nazi. I'm a soup Nazi? Uh, I've heard of the soup Nazi. I'm I think I've seen a picture of him. <laughs> That was actually based on a real person, I think. <laughs> was it? I don't think they actually called the real person the soup Nazi, but they might have. I don't know. It's an extremely offensive term to put on somebody. You know? <laughs> I would not be happy. <laughs> It'd be a lawsuit. Jerry! They, they would go there, they would complain about the soup, and then he would, like, take the soup away from them. No soup for you. <laughs> what are they complaining about it? Why should they have soup? <laughs> because he did something stupid to the soup, so they were complaining about it. As I would. <laughs> And like you, they were probably wrong. <laughs> I guess they and had then, no brains, and then too. I couldn't understand why he always, like, took the soup away from him and why they were always, like, you know, like, kind of like me. I don't understand why people do things they do to me, either. Oh, boy. <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, I don't. Five months of I told problem. you, I don't get people. I just don't understand. Next time, all you have to do is don't do anything. You're good at doing nothing. <laughs> so for once, actually do nothing. So all you have to do is do nothing. Oh, God. It's so hard. To do nothing? <laughs> to bite my tongue and just, like, not come back with anything. <laughs> Which is why you've had 157 jobs in the last 40 years. Fuck you. <laughs> it takes a while to work as we do this no, alcohol soaked it. brain, doesn't it? I just wasn't commenting. <sighs> Stop it! <laughs> oh. Yeah, look, at least why do things like this always happen to me. Because you manufacture them, that's why. I don't. Yeah, you do. I just want to be left alone to do my job, go home, and live a nice, peaceful life. And everybody always has to fuck with me. Oh, uh, yeah, it's always everybody else's fault. Because never yours. it is! <laughs> it's always somebody else. I didn't else. initiate this. Yes, you did. You ratted on your supervisor. But if they'd have paid me, none of this would be happening. They made a mistake. Then they should have rectified it and sent it to And me. you had to go out and call them on it, you know? Because it's my money! Which you would have got eventually. Oh, my God. Eventually. 
You didn't have to rat your boss out to her boss. Which you did. I only did that after she pissed me off and you talked see? about my job performance when there was no issue. I know, but that was her way of exercising her authority over you. In a little way. It wasn't even a big thing. But it was like she was saying like... And we've already established that you... you up all because there's glare for? on the camera. Oh. There's always also the we've already established the fact that you would have done exactly the same thing. No, it thing. would not. If you said that. Well, we know from your past behavior, you have been vindictive. You threw out people's lunches. You stole their tip money. No, I still I threw out people's lunches because they did it to me. That's not being vindictive. That's just giving them back what they gave to me. And the tip money I already said that was totally on me. Uh huh. Yeah. That's one thing I admit to. The other thing I totally admitted to. Was the job when I didn't dress right for it. Yeah. But I owned up to those two. Yeah. When I do something stupid, I admit to it. But if I don't, I'm not going to say that I did. <laughs> what? I didn't get all of that, but all right. Mm. Yeah, you're screwed. There's no way out. You've burned your bridges now. You hear that funeral music playing? Stop! There it is. Here it is. Yeah, it's getting louder. Stop. Ritual suicide in the middle of the cafeteria with a <laughs> with one of them big Japanese knives. There you go. That'll show them. That'll learn them to mess with you. Seppuku. Terry's gonna commit seppuku in the middle of the cafeteria. There you go. I do this with honor. <laughs> Stop it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, Destin. Mm. I shouldn't have eaten that. Oh. Mm -hmm. Of course, you could also go to your supervisors, abjectly apologize. For not being wrong. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. You'd be wrong for everything, even her mistake. I'm so sorry. Oh, look, I, I really apologize for having an address so complicated that it couldn't be remembered. It's all my fault. I should never have moved there. I should have moved away from there. I, I, you know, I, I never should have gone and complained to, what's her boss's name? Bob. I should never have gone and complained to Bob because, you know, that was totally uncalled for. Absolutely my fault. I am such a stupid, degenerate moron. You know, it, it comes from... give me my fucking paycheck. It comes from too much watching porn and drinking liquor. You know, uh, I'm so, so, so very sorry. It'll never, ever, ever happen again. Can I wash your car? Would you like a cup of coffee? Do you like cookies? Does your lawn need mowing? You got your house painted? <laughs> I need to make this up to you somehow because, you know, I just feel so terrible about it. Do you need money? Can I give you $100? Go get a spa or whatever, you know, treatment? You know? Oh, yeah, so then she can turn around and say she's trying to bribe me. <laughs> that's acceptable. You're giving a gift to your employer, that's all. It's not like it's government service. Well, technically it is, but not really. So if you do that, you might get out of it. Stop. I just gave you a way out. If you choose not to take it, that's your own fault. <laughs> You're going to do some major league ass kissing. I mean, real major league ass kissing. I don't do that. Well, well then you're going to be unemployed, sitting home with no money, no car, and Billy reminding you every 15 minutes you're not contributing to the house all the cats. <laughs> and he'll probably take your cat away. He will not take my cat away. Sure he will. He'll bring it to his father's house. He wouldn't. Sure, why wouldn't he? He would not do that. He's going to be supporting the cat. Why wouldn't he bring it over there with him? Because he wouldn't. Sure he would. No, he wouldn't. I'm going to suggest it to him. Love it. I will. He lives at our house, too. Yeah, but not so. nearly as much as I bet he does at his dad's. Yes, he does. Both half and half. He'll bring the cat with him. Stop it. Kind of like... not do that because he has another cat there. It'll be kind of like shared custody. No. <laughs> <laughs> he would not do that. He has another cat there. Sybil would not like having Oreo invade her space. Uh-huh. Well, she wouldn't. Maybe he'll just have to give the cat away then, I guess. No, he would not. He loves the cat. Well, if he's pissed off enough at you... He'd give me away first. <laughs> I'm surprised he hasn't done that already. Shut up! You know, if I was him, man, i tell you what. Fuck you! <laughs> oh, did you hear the one about the dumbass African couple? Well, the guy. No, thank you, by the way. Anyway, <laughs> he... he, he